Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you've got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well at Tally Sarah. Uh, for Patreon membership or anything else, uh, all you need to do is click more and you can go down into my description box and I have an Etsy shop there. Uh, I have a, my friend's metaphysical shop is up there. All the information, my Patreon membership is there. It's down below in the description box. So, with that being said, I just put down the good old-fashioned holy water. We're going to get right into this reading. So, you know what time it is. Tarot's down session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. Dong presiding. If you got a big tree. You know, I broke my finger two years ago. I fractured my pinky uh, at work. I slammed it in a cooler door. And once in a while, I can feel that that fracture. And I'm feeling it right now. It's kind of a weird feeling. But enough about my fractures. Let's talk about your person's fracture, shall we? <laughs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Okay, make sure. Oh, yeah, I got a protection stone on that one here. Okay, we need just protection everywhere on this one. <laughs> yes, we do. Show me the energy of the person my... Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to go here a little bit too. I'm just going to be extra careful today for some reason. God, there's nothing bad, but I can never be too sure. Show me the energy. Okay. Okay. Looks like you guys had some kind of disagreement here. Some kind of duel. Okay. Your person's been spinning their wheels ever since then here. They've been having a hard time. I feel like this person has is under a lot of heavy energy trying to figure out what they need to do at this position here, that, which in, they're dealing with here. So we're going to get right into this reading. We're going to talk to that King of Wands, or I mean Page of Wands, and see why the Page of Wands is here. So why is this Page of Wands in this person's energy? We're going to talk to that first. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Sure. Okay. Looks like somebody is reaching out to you. Okay. There's a lot of energy here when this person reaches out to you. And it's like they feel like they're about to crack. Okay. What's about to crack for this person when they reach out to Pisces? What's about to crack for this person when they reach out to Pisces? What's about to crack? Okay. The world. Okay. What comes after judgment? The world. Wow. So, it looks as if somebody here is wanting something here very powerful, very transforming here with you. With that Ace of Pentacles and the world together. This is something here that's going to be serious. That's actually going to change the both of your worlds here. It's like you guys are going to be untouchable. The untouchables. Okay. So we're going to talk to judgment now because judgment was judgment is like it's judgment in the world. So what's going on with judgment down here on the table, please? Ay ay ay. Okay. Yep, and it's just exactly what I said. Sorry, I got to make sure everything's well protected here. Yep, and this person's been. They've been carrying a lot of weight here on their shoulders about making this decision to come come here and offer you something very powerful. 
It's like the two of you are going to be untouchable. This is going to, I feel like you're going to change both of each other's worlds here. This is literally what I'm getting off this energy today. Okay. Uh, let's go a little deeper here on Judgment with the Nine of Wands. Judgment with the Nine of Wands. We'll go a little deeper. Judgment with the Nine of Wands, please. Judgment with the Nine of Wands, please. Judgment with the Nine of Wands, please. Good Lord. Judgment with the Nine of Wands. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. And what is this about for this person? For you and them? They've been very emotional. Very emotional here about you. Feeling very sensitive. I feel like their feminine energy is up quite a bit here. So this Ace of Pentacles in this world is basically represented here with that Knight of Cups. It's, it's, it's love. Somebody here want to take you out, okay? Sweep you off your feet a little bit. So this person has been preparing to sweep you off your feet. But whatever the case is here, it's going to be very powerful. I feel like this is going to change both of your worlds here when you guys connect. So what was this Five of Swords here about this argument? Goodness. What was this Five of Swords about, please? What was this Five of Swords about, please? What was the Five of Swords about? Okay. So it seems like one of you or both of you had an argument or discussion or like a duel here about the destiny of this connection. Let's get a little bit deeper here on the star with the five of swords. And what did I say? The wheel with the star, guys. It literally is the destiny of this connection. So one of you or both of you, one of you, I don't know, who was not in line with the destiny of this connection, but somebody, somebody here, you guys weren't seeing eye to eye. You guys weren't meeting eye to eye here at all on where this connection was going. But whatever the case is, this argument or whatever you guys had, that was destined to happen. And you know why it was destined to happen? Because this person really had to raise their vibration here. So I'm figuring it was your person. I figure you're the mo more higher one here, understanding what this connection meant. Because you definitely felt like this was something destined here. And I feel like this person was questioning that. And so this argument here, it could have led to maybe a temporary separation for a little while so that this person could find their way. And as soon as you guys had to separate for a little while, it was like this person needed to ponder here and go through some heavy things and realize how they feel and realize that this, this connection here can change both of your worlds for the better. And not for the worse. Man, why am I drinking so much holy water today? I feel like a fish today. I need to be in the water. I need to get that pool ready. I work so much. I don't have time. My God, I got, I got so much going on, guys. I really do. It's not even funny. I'm also helping my friend move. Oh, my God, his mom into the house. I've been helping her. Oh, it's been a lot. It's just been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I got the pool. I am the pool girl, so, oh, okay. Enough about my situation. Let's get into your person. So what have they been spinning their wheels about? What have they been spinning their wheels? Oh, my God, my deck just exploded. It literally exploded. There's so much here. There is so much here. I'm going to take all of it. I got to make sure, though, that everything is clean before I do anything here. Okay. What have they been spinning their wheels about? Well, they've been they've been about ready to crack. They had to have a their third eye literally had to open here. 
Their third eye literally had to open here. I mean, literally. And there's their eye. It's like it got down to the point where it was like, my God, I can see clearly now what's going on here. And what clearly is going on here is, my goodness, Pisces. I have so much passion for you, Pisces. I've got so much love for you. And it's like this person wants to move forward here. Full steam ahead. This is like something here. Your connection with this person has the ability here to change both of your worlds. But this person needed to go through some heavy energy in order to figure that out. So it is what it is. My goodness, this reading went by really fast. I don't even know what happened. I feel like I was in another dimension. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab the uh, one card for each side. We're going to do the kitty boom booms, as always, for Jesse. I haven't seen Jesse in a while. Hope Jesse's doing good. Snook, Ramona. I know Ramona's been around. Colleen's been around. Gail. I wanted to say hi to Gail. Aubrey. Uh, Laura, I hope Laura's doing well, oh my god, Joel, Joel from Texas, I haven't seen him, Patrick, Patrick, I hope you're doing well, I know Patrick's been busy, he got a new job, alright, Pisces dealing with Pisces, sorry guys, I have to do that sometimes, you guys know that I think about you a lot, I do, and I don't forget, okay, they feel like this is over, Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay, they feel like you're very good at what you do. Scorp. Scorp. Scorpio feels like you've just been busy with work. Uh, Aries. Aries. I go Aries first. Okay, if you're not in a long-term relationship, Aries definitely could see themselves in one with you. Uh, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Sorry if I miss a sign, too. Sometimes that happens. Leo. Wow, it's going to make me shuffle through all... Okay, Leo. Leo feels like you're very balanced here. Okay. Uh, did I say... Yeah, Leo? I hope I got that right. I hope I didn't miss a sign. Sorry. Sagittarius. Sorry if I did. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius is going to reach out to you. Libra. Libra. Libra's got a lot of emotions here for you. Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. That bent my card. Look at that. Uh, if you're not in a long-term relationship with Gemini, they would like to be in one with you. They could see the potential. Uh, Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Boy. Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius. They, they're regretting something here. Uh, Virgo. Virgo? Sure. Okay. Virgo doesn't want to be held down. Taurus. Taurus. You guys are not talking. Uh, Virgo. Virgo, sure. Uh, they feel like this is over. And... Did I say, did I say Virgo? I, I feel like I messed everything. Guys, if I messed everything up, I'm sorry. I'm going to go happy capity And then I, I apologize if I really messed up. Capity. It does happen. I am human. <laughs> Okay, Capricorn, you are not talking right now. So, as always, I love you. Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tarot's adjourned. <laughs>